guys i am back with another video today is wednesday battle of the palettes let me know if you guys like battle of the palette videos and um if you have any palettes that you guys want me to put up against each other let me know so one of you requested that i battle the masquerade palette by juvia's place versus the urban decay electric palette so we are going to do some swatches comparison in packaging and we're going to see which one is better okay so first we are going to start off with the electric palette guys and here's the close-up of the urban decay electric palette okay links for each palette will be in the description so you can check them out <clears throat> so you can look in for the detail as far as the specs and how much uh, product comes in each and uh, pricing and all that. Um, the electric palette is plastic packaging, which I really can appreciate. Um, I love the fact that they use these awesome colors. This is such a cute packaging, guys. Um, when you open it up, it does have a mirror, which I still haven't taken off the uh, plastic. I don't know why I haven't taken off the plastic, but I will. Um, I use this most in the summer. Um, I use this a lot in the summer, actually. Um, and I like the fact that it comes with a brush. And if you notice, the bristles are purple, which I find very, very cute. So that is always a plus. And I love Urban Decay brushes in their palette. They're not cheap. They're not flimsy. And they are actually usable. You can use them to blend out eyeshadows and to pack on eyeshadow. So these are the colors. Let me just move up close so you guys can see. So we're going to start with this one, and this one is called Revolt. So that is Revolt. Okay. Next is Gonzo. And this is like a blue shade. So we're going to give that another swatch. Um, this one is kind of chalky, so you need, you probably need a base for this one and, um, to actually build up the color, but you can build up the color in, in this palette. That's, that's for sure. These are pigmented. Um, however, some of them are chalky, not chalky, like chalky, chalky, cheap chalky, but I guess to make these types of colors, these bright neon colors, the stuff that they use makes it a little um, a little chalky. And there is some specks of blue glitter in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So what I'm going to be swatching, I'm sorry, I didn't explain to you guys. I will be going right to left and then right to left, okay? So next we will be squatch, squatching. <laughs> next we will be squatching. <laughs> next we will be swatching a slow burn. And this one is kind of like a fiery red-orange, I think. That's how I would describe it anyway. And that is really nice. Next, we have a Savage. Oh my God, red, white, and blue. I just noticed. The American flag. This is Savage, guys. And this one is Fringe. And this is actually one of my favorites in this palette. This is fringe. Ooh, honey. That is like ice. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous shit right there. These are some awesome colors. I'm sorry, guys. If you don't have the Urban Decay Electric palette, I, I don't know what I don't know what you're doing with your life. Seriously. This one's called um Chaos. This one feels a bit a bit chalky. You see? It is a little chalky. But I'm just swiping twice to show you guys that you can build up the intensity. And if you have like an eyeshadow, um, an eyeshadow base, I don't think you'll have a problem building up the color. Um, next is called Jilted. I live for pigmentation, guys. I live for pigmentation. Seriously. Okay. Next is Urban. Oh, this is a beautiful color, guys. Get ready. 
Oh, and that's just like Joseph, but in purple. Oh my God, guys. Do you see these colors? Sick. Sick. Okay. And next is Freak. And this one's like a lime green. So pretty. Ooh. That is pretty. That is pretty, baby. That is pretty. And next is called, sorry. And next is called Thrash. And this is yellow. <laughs> that is awesome, guys. So this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Okay. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one, guys. This is going to be a tough one. So, uh, this is Juvia's Place. I'm sorry. This is the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. I don't have the second one or the first one. The first one for me is a little basic. But the second one, I'm thinking about getting it, guys. So, comment down below if you have the second one and if you think it's worth buying. Um, when you have a large eyeshadow palette collection the way I do, um, do you think it's worth the buy? Because I know their shadows when I bought the mask. And, and is it the same formula as the masquerade palette as well? That's another question I wanted to ask you guys. So, honey. So the packaging is cardboard. However, the artistry is gorgeous. I love this. The back is just plain pink. However, pink is my favorite color. So it's a win-win for me, guys. Um, inside, we also have this nice art decor. So I really, really like that and can appreciate that. Um, and these are the colors for the masquerade palette. So we are going to go right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left. And I will be announcing... Well, I will be trying to pronounce these shades because these shades, I believe, are African or something. And, um, you know, my African dialect isn't, uh, isn't all that. <laughs> okay, so what did I say? We'd be going from right to left. Okay, so we're going to start with Chi. And, guys, one thing I got to say about this formula is it is sick. <gasps> Oh my god, look at that guys. Wow. That is heaven. That is heaven. And I know it looks patchy, but the only reason it's patchy is because my fingers skipped at the end. The next is Mally. I'll try not to skip my finger. That's why I press hard. Because sometimes my finger skips. You see? If I press really hard, it won't skip. <gasps> I'm living. I am. Are you living? Are you living right now? Like, are you living for this? Because I am. The next one is called Dahlia. <gasps> oh my God. Guys, I'm telling you, when I first swatched this palette, I was like, holy shit. I was like, yo, not for nothing, but. Juvia's Place has some of the most pigmented, creamy eyeshadow formulas that I have seen in my life. And that's a very strong statement. <laughs> Next is Zola. Look at that. Look at that. Like, these are pigmented as shit. Woo. Makita is next. You see my finger skips. I don't know why, guys. I think it's because I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm a righty. So that's Makita. Next is Zobo. I really like these names. Look at how pretty. Oh, guys. Guys, this palette is sick. I'm sorry the swatches aren't that great, guys. I'm really not a lefty. I will fix them. Let me see if I can fix this one over here for you guys. Try to fix it so that it's opaque so you can see the color. There we go. Because my finger skips. I don't know why it does that. I think it's because I'm because I'm a righty and um, maybe my left hand doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay, so 
I'm trying to pronounce the next one. So the next one is called Calabar. Calabar. That's how I would pronounce it. I'm Spanish, so I'm pronouncing it how I would in Spanish. <gasps> My nigga, Kylie who. I'm sorry I have to say that because um, she came out with the burgundy palette, honey. And that burgundy is sick. Next one is Bori. And this has specks of gold glitter in it. It is so nice. A little gritty, but very nice. So poorly. So poorly. Okay, next is Giza or Giza. Oh, that inner corner though. Brow bow status, inner corner status right there, baby. Next is Burkina. Burkina is a nice crease color. Next is Cairo. And this is beautiful. What I told y'all before. You cannot have a nice palette without a burnt orange. And bitch, she bring it. She bring it with that burnt orange. I'm sorry. Ada. Okay, this one's a little chalky, but you see as you blend it, it comes out nice. So you just got to work with the product. Dahia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, that is so pretty. Zulu. See, you just gotta work with the product. Some of these shadows you have to work with because they're matte. They're matte formulas. Mats, you always gotta work with mats. Cala Blanca. Casa Blanca. Casa Blanca. Guys, I think we ran out of room, so I'm gonna come up here. Ooh, look at that Casa Blanca! Ooh, gee, 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 gee. I feel like I'm in Puerto Rico. Casa Blanca. Um, Fulani. This is beautiful, guys. Like, not for nothing. And I'm going to try to get this one right here because this is the last one. Fulani. It's a nice crease color. Okay, guys. So, here we... Here we go. Here we... Wait. Let me move back. Here we go. Here are the final swatches. Urban Decay Electric Palette on my left. And Masquerade by Juvia's Place on my right. Now, guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm. Okay. Now, let's come up close and let's talk about this. One, there is, there's no battle here, guys. Seriously. Um, there is no battle here. If you ask me, the Masquerade by Juvia's Place kicked Urban Decay's butt. I mean, like, they just, they ran with it. She took it and she ran with it, honey. These shadows are sick. I mean, I, I believe I paid like 30 something dollars for this. I'll have the link in the description. Um, and when I bought the electric palette, I believe it was like 50 around there, something, 40 something, 50, something like that, something of that nature. I think now you could get this for like 30. I'm not sure. Guys, for the price point, right? Not only do you get more colors, but you get a variety of colors, guys. Look. Okay, so what is a Juvia's place missing? A yellow. That's it. That is it. The yellow. That's it. If you were if you wanted a colorful palette, 
the palette that I would recommend is Masquerade by Juvia's Place. I know it has a bad rap and uh, there's a lot of reviews, bad reviews on it talking about bad customer service and blah, 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 which I don't knock any of those people if those were their experiences, then I'm really sorry for them. I had no bad experience with Juvia's Place. I ordered, I got my palette within three days after I ordered. It came fast, it came intact, and honey, it came beautiful. Um, there is no comparison here. Juvia's Place. Let's give it up for Juvia's Place. Masquerade Ball. Yes, honey. Yes. Yes. Because she won. She blew this out the water. Her art on her packaging is gorgeous. Um, the only thing I got to say is that if you're a travel-friendly person, you might want to go for the electric palette if you want to put in your purse and stuff. Because this is a big palette if you look at the um, comparisons. But if not... Girl, girl, go with Juvia's Place. Look at all these eyeshadows you get. And they're pigmented and creamy and great, excellent quality eyeshadows. They're not bullshit eyeshadows. So really, girls, aim for Juvia's Place. She won this battle, honey. I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday, on Battle of the Palettes. Um, if you have any suggestions on any palettes you want to see swatches and you want to see them go up against each other, please leave it down in the description bar down below. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye. Girl, I know you didn't see my video all the way to the end and forget to subscribe. <laughs> Hi. What are you still doing here? <laughs> go subscribe.